to another edition of Giants Chronicles presented by New York Presbyterian. The Giants have always been known for their outstanding defense, and so many great names have dotted the landscape. None greater, though, than number 70, middle linebacker Sam Huff, a centerpiece of the Giants' defense in the 1950s and early 60s. You know, I came from West Virginia, and the son of a coal miner, and when I came to New York, it was just I was, like I was born to play here. It's such a magnificent city. In Yankee Stadium, there was nothing like playing at Yankee Stadium. I mean, it was like playing in a Hall of Fame. And to be in the same locker room where Babe Ruth played, and Mickey Mantle, I shared a room with Mickey Mantle. You know, when they moved out uh, after winning the World Series, we always were practicing at Fordham University because we had Vince Lombardi and Wellington Mayor, and I think we all went to Fordham. So we used Fordham. And then we would come into that stadium, and every time you came into the Yankee Stadium, it was like coming into the Hall of Fame. It was, it was really something very, very special. And to play there, the way we played there. As a rookie in 1956, Huff would benefit from the tutelage of some of the most brilliant minds football has ever known. You realize we had the greatest coaching staff in the history of the National Football League. Vince Lombardi coached the offense, and Tom Landry coached the defense, and Timothy Howe was the head coach. Well, 1956 was a very special year in the New York had all of a sudden awakened to the fact that there was a professional football team. And it wasn't just the Yankees, it wasn't just the Miami, and Mickey Mantle. Uh, all of a sudden, we were selling out Yankee Stadium. I think the key to our great year was our defense. And the key to our defense was Tom Landry. The first person I know that brought intelligence, strategy, and tactics into defense was Tom Landry. And he developed the 4 3 defense, but still the dominant defense in pro football today. Landry's 4 3 defensive scheme was designed to take advantage of the instinctive skills of his middle linebacker. Sam Huff. It was Tom Landry who saw something in Sam that they didn't think I could be turning into a linebacker. And he was a guest of my He was quick, he was smart, and he was very fast. He was a great speaker. He had intelligence that you had to have to play Tom Landry's defense number one. And to play middle linebacker was the key. In this defense, the job of the four down lineman was to keep Huff free of potential blockers, leaving him open to roam as a rover in the vicinity of the football. Much of us could have clear their job in it was to protect Sam. Pressure if they could, to make sure that with an offensive guard, not going to get Sam from the linebacker. They were to make sure that Sam was free, and Sam loved that. New York's amazing season culminated in the 1956 NFL Championship game. Hello? Chicago Bears at Yankee Stadium in a finale that would climax the NFL's okay. first year of nationally televised broadcasts. In one of the most physical games to date, Huff and the Giants defense would dominate the Bears in round I don't know, three, thank seven, you. Seven victory. As far as I'm concerned, not only the Giants survived, that was a full football game. The New York Giants <laughs> won professional football's biggest prize, the World Championship. I was very proud of the, our football team. I was very proud of being in New York. What a great time of everything that took place. It was just super. Stay tuned for more Giants Chronicles. Sam Huff.